but you know, I went from my pre-peak visit to the laboratory and uh, I was uh, a bit confused because there's this guy standing there watching us. What are you doing? He said, peer review. <laughs> I am genuinely half Punjabi, so... <laughs> Goddamn small affair, being a robot sent to Mars. You ain't no mouse with girly hair, you're a wanton remote control car. Daddy told you to go and send back images of what you see. Mission control, they're all hooked to their silver screens. You're a giant robot rover on the surface of Mars, driving round, finding paths on your way to Mount Shard. Photographing spinnery, rock sampling the chemistry. I'm amazed. You've gone so far. <laughs> First came the Viking Hall. Missions are still being planned. No sailors in dance halls. These landings are all unmanned. Only half the flights launched make it through Britannia is out of bounds. The Beagle 2's innovative landing system perhaps had a bit too much bounce. You're a giant robot rover on the surface of Mars, driving round, finding parts on your way to Mount Shard. Photographing scenery, rock sampling with You've gone so far. You're a giant robot rover on the surface of Mars, driving round, finding parts, remote control, science car. Spirit opportunity, sojourner curiosity. I'm amazed that we've gone so far. Cushioned by suspension and parachutes. You are your own generator, powered by 32 plutonium cubes. You are your own navigator, six wheels and cameras to help you move. Now you sit there gathering data from the seat 
surface of Mars, driving round, finding paths on your way to Mount Shard. Photographing scenery, rock sampling with chemistry, I'm amazed that you've gone so far. You're a giant robot rover on the surface of Mars, driving round, finding paths, remote control, science car. Spirit opportunity, sojourner curiosity, I'm amazed that we've gone so far. Thank you.